Bobby Buaco here on Masson All Access Extra, and I'm now joined by our MassonSports.com Nationals beat writer, Mark Zuckerman from West Palm Beach. Mark, so glad you're down there. We have live baseball tonight on Masson as the Nationals host the St. Louis Cardinals in Grapefruit League action. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm glad to be here, Bobby, and glad that everybody gets a chance to watch a game tonight and see the Nationals as currently constructed. Right, and we're going to have some fans who are tuning in live on Masson today uh, from the D.C. area be able to watch a familiar face make his first appearance this year uh, out of the bullpen. What can you tell us about Sean Doolittle's first game action this spring? Well, you may have heard of him. Sean Doolittle kind of played a little bit of a role on the uh, World Series championship team a few years ago. Yeah, he's back. Um, he had a rough year last year going between Cincinnati and Seattle. He was brought back right here at the start of camp. It's a big league deal. So, I mean, he's healthy. He's on the team. That's their expectation. I watched him face some live hitters a couple days ago, and he looked good to me. I mean, you know, I didn't get numbers, although Davey Martinez told us today that he threw 92 uh, miles an hour in his last bullpen session, so that's a good sign. He's throwing with some confidence. He's throwing with a little emotion, even a few curse words thrown in, kind of like a uh, Max Scherzer situation. So he's going to be amped up tonight. I'll be curious to see how does this all translate to a game. We don't really know what to expect from him, what kind of role we can uh, assume he's going to have this year. But I think everybody's just excited to see him on the mound facing hitters again. And the Nationals have made an addition to that bullpen today. A couple of roster moves coming down right before you and I jumped on camera. The Nationals have claimed right-hander Hunter Harvey off waivers from the Giants and plays Carter Keeboom on the 60-day IL. What can you tell us about Harvey, and what does this mean for Carter Keeboom's future? So Harvey, as you guys know, former first-round pick of the Orioles. He's got an electric arm. Nobody's ever questioned that. He's just dealt with a whole lot of injuries. Now, he was with the Giants this spring. It didn't last long. They DFA'd him last week when they needed to clear a roster spot. The Nats are going to take a look at him. They have reason to believe that he is healthy, and if he stays healthy, he's going to be in the mix for a spot in the bullpen, although he does have a minor league option left, I believe. So it's not like he necessarily has to make the team. They may have the ability to send him down. Carter Keeboom, look, we knew he was already going to be out for a while. Earlier today, Davey Martinez told us they were looking at a minimum of six weeks of rehab time before he could ramp up. But interestingly enough, in the press release that the team just put out, they're no longer only calling it a flexor mass strain, they're also now calling it a UCL sprain. Now that's the elbow ligament, that's the Tommy John ligament. That doesn't mean it's Tommy John surgery. We'll see if we can find out more about what actually is involved here, but it does suggest that there's a little more to the injury than initially was announced. And I think they knew all along there was a chance that could be the case. Be sure to follow Mark on Twitter, at Mark Zuckerman, of course, on MassInSports.com. 24-7 coverage on that website and on the Masson app for all the latest news and updates. And be sure to check out Nationals Cardinals tonight live on Masson, 6 o'clock start, 6.05 first pitch. Mark, thanks so much for joining me. All right, thanks, Bobby.